Yo, today I want to show you how you can make drum patterns like Southside and Naruto Wick. We're aiming for the very dark sound, uh, like a lot of hi-hats and a lot of rolls and also like a very dark 808. I personally always struggle with my drum patterns just because I didn't leave enough space for the artist to actually hop on the beat. So today I'm gonna show you what mistakes to avoid and what tips to implement into your drum patterns. Before I start, uh, you may be wondering what loop I'm using. And this is a loop from my loop kit that I just dropped, uh, Eternity. You can check it out in the description. Uh, it's completely free for profit, so you can use it for your own beats and beat stars. I just took this loop uh, 09, cursed, and I just dragged the MIDI pattern on top of the 808, so I know where the bass note is. After you know where the bass note is, we can start with the beat. Um, first, I made this little example right here, what your drum pattern shouldn't sound like. So here's a little preview. <laughs> So basically, there's just too much going on. First of all, I don't like the sounds that are being used. Um, I mean, the claps, hi-hats and open hats are all the same and the snare. But the 808 is a bit like weird, at least like for this type of beat. When it comes to these dark beats, I just like to use like a dark spins 808 or you could even like use a south side uh, 808. I think you could just like find a bunch of good sounds online on Reddit. But yeah, I personally like use the spins. A few people might not like it because it's like too generic, but I think you shouldn't like change the running system. I mean, all the beats you hear on like Rep Caviar and stuff, all the beats that are being released and are actually being placed are often like the normal 808, so the Zay 808 or the Spins 808. So why don't use it yourself? When it comes to the hi-hat pattern, I know like we want a lot of rolls and we want that Naruto wick feeling, but having too much like rolls actually makes the beat sound a bit bad. Better way to do it is actually like listening to the hi-hat pattern and to the loop itself and finding little pockets where you could actually fit these like hi-hat rolls. So when I listen to the loop and laid out my hi-hat two-step pattern, the rolls that I'm doing most of the times are in one-third step, I heard these hi-hat rolls. <laughs> Sounds way better in my opinion and has that south side feeling. With the claps you can't do much. I personally always like put on this like two beat uh, like clap pattern. So just put it on every second beat. Most of the times I don't want the open hat to actually have a big like impact on a beat. So I just have it very quiet in the back and I also play with the velocities. But here's the pattern. Very simple, nothing special. Next, I added the snare. With the snares, it's very important to play with the velocities. By doing that, it gives the drum pattern more bounce and it has just more variation in it. And at the end, you could even like put a little snare roll, but I personally don't like it to play through the whole beat because otherwise there's just like too much going on. Now to the most important part, the 808. This can make or break a beat, so really like focus on the 808 when you're doing your beats. As you can see here in the example before, you don't leave any pockets for the artist to rap on, so this is just way too much. I can play it one more time. I mean, it's in key and it sounds nice maybe for like a drum battle, but we actually want to make beats for artists to hop on. So this isn't the right choice. Leaving the 808 pattern more spaced out and playing with the velocity here and there makes the 808 pattern sound way better. So this 808 pattern is pretty like standard and like boring if you want it, but it works. I had a little switch up right here, so I didn't like continue the pattern as it was before. Um, I just put this little note right here and lowered the velocity a bit. But other than that, I basically copied over the first four bars. After adding the 808, I personally like to add a kick most of the times. Sometimes I don't want to add a kick, but this time I did. The way I do it, I basically just copy the pattern, the 808 pattern, and copy it over to a kick pattern. So after copying it, put them all to the root note and just delete a few of the notes. So I deleted one right here and one at the end. 
so um, the kick doesn't hit on every 808 note. Now you basically have all the components. Very important thing you need to do is lower the volume of the melody. It should be around like minus 12 or uh, minus 18 dB right here. Sometimes it can go higher or lower, so just like trust your ear. Finally, just add this filter to filter out all of the low end of your melody so your drums have space on a track. The final thing I like to do is adding like little like transitions or risers. And other than that, that's basically like the finished product. There isn't really a lot to it. A lot of people overcomplicate their drums. Use good sounds, leave space for the artist, and adjust the drum pattern to the loop or to the melody that you're using. If you do all that and lay it out in a correct way, so just putting a few elements away here and there, then you have a fire beat with fire drums and an artist will actually like pick the beat first and then rap on it. Finally, like bonus tip, if you export it out, uh, I personally like put on a soft clipper and a little EQ for the high ends. A lot of people export their beats with a lower volume because some people say that the guy who mixes the track needs some like space to mix it actually. But if you do that, that is stupid most of the times because if your track is not as loud as another track, the louder track will be picked because it just sounds better to the human ear. So yeah, I hope you could get some good value out of this video. Um, if you have any ideas or like any recommendations what I could do in the future, if you have any problems in your like production, then uh, write a comment and download my loop kit. It's linked in the description and that's it basically. So see ya, bye.